The Seattle Opera is going beyond the classics to create something different. Contemporary operas that tell the story of Afghanistan women or a black family. New Day's Gloria Angeline headed to the Seattle Opera to check out what's new there. Plus, it turns out Gloria is a bit of an opera singer herself. Who knew? Hundreds of years, opera has been dominated by white actresses and composers. So, how do we add diversity to this Pacific entertainment industry? To learn about it, I'm visiting the Seattle Opera to talk about their racial equity and social impact plans. What we are focusing on right now is looking at things like programming. What are the operas that we are presenting on stage? What are the stories that they're telling? Are they contemporary stories that speak to issues that we are going through right now? If they are old historic works, how are we understanding this work, this historic work in that context? Some of the other ways that we're doing that is ensuring that the cast is representative of various racial ethnic groups, the creators of operas, the composers, the librettists, the designers that come in to design the scenic background, the costumes. We have, unfortunately, a long tradition of having white dominant field, and so really looking at dismantling that and ensuring that we're including diverse perspectives in that. In two years' time, we'll have X on our stage, and that is by a composer named Anthony Davis. This season we'll have Blue, and the librettist for that is Taswell Thompson. Blue is an opera that premiered in 2019. And it tells the story of a black American family. The father is a policeman, and the son is shot by one of his fellow officers. I also heard that there is an opera about Afghanistan. Yes, what absolutely. That? So that is a new piece that will be presented at Seattle Opera next season. And it is based on the book Thousand Splendid Sons. It follows the story of two women who form an incredible bond and relationship, unfortunately under oppressive powers of both the Taliban and the, the man that they live with in their home. We have an incredible director, Warrior Sadat, who is from Afghanistan. She actually was was born in one of the cities of the book and then lived in Kabul and also spent time in Afghanistan under Taliban rule. I can't wait to watch these contemporary operas. And while we are here, why don't I get some professional advice on my own classical singing? Soprano Elena Lewis is here to help. <coughs> That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. I would just say to think about the words that you're singing. I know that we're in Italian, but just what do they actually mean? And specifically, what do they mean to you? That's actually a wonderful advice. You know, I gave up singing about six years ago when I took this journalism career full time. But okay. you've been singing 20 years, right? Yes. Well, more than that. Oh. <laughs> I started singing, my mom says, before I started speaking. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. What was diversity in opera back then? And how hard is it for a person of color to get a role in a production? That's a great question. I feel as though back then, there were some opera stars of color. It's really starting with the groundbreaking work of Marian Anderson and Leontine Price. It's gotten to a place that's it's coming along, I would say. We're having much more success. Of course, there's always more work to be done, so I'm so happy you're, you're taking up this subject. <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean, there's a lot that I can relate on, especially as an immigrant journalist here in the States. But do you think, is there anything that we as a society can do to help? I feel like it starts with education and exposure because a lot of the response that I get when I tell people what I do is shock and awe because not just it's classical music or it's opera, but because of who I am in that field. And so if more young people knew that, no, it's not just 
an art form for a certain type of person, it's an art form for all people, then I think that would be a major, major help. I also heard that you're going to be in the Contemporary Opera Blue next yes. year. How yes. do you feel and what do you think about it? I feel amazing. Coming out of COVID and feeling like, well, what's going to happen next? Will there be contracts, etc.? It was all sort of unknown, and to be cast in a piece like Blue is absolutely amazing. I can't wait for this show and this story to be told here in Seattle. And bravo to the company, the Seattle Opera, and to our Gloria. Seattle Opera's performance of Blue will happen next season, February 2022. But for now, the Seattle Opera is performing La Boheme, and you can visit New Day's website to learn more.